bigger role and also will help to establish a, a, a support mechanism and uh, a, a, a holistic ecosystem, an inclusive ecosystem uh, overall. And NISP is already, I think, uh, uh, I'm not going to take much time on NISP, but NISP is still uh, it's under implementation and so far more than 3,200 institutions are, uh, have been there. More than 3,200 institutions have uh, adopted this policy and majority of them uh, already uh, in the stage of uh, completing the stage of policy formulation and now they are implementing these policies. It is well in some areas like at the governance level, how the top leaders will be part of and how the, at the mission and teacher level also uh, uh, this innovation and entrepreneurship will be given much importance. So this talk, this talk area focus on uh, at the governance and the strategy level. And also uh, one of the major area as prescribed under NISP is called incubation and equation support system development, IP ownership and equity selling mechanisms. And there is norms for faculty and student driven startups. There is provision of uh, provision for incentivizing the faculty and students for entrepreneurship. There is a resource mobilization and funding support for startups, uh, pedagogy and learning interventions for supporting innovation startups. So these are the first areas NISP gives our guideline and also it helps the institute to set the mechanisms how they will, they, they will develop a complete ecosystem and complete support structure to, to uh, promote innovation and entrepreneurship. Coming to one of the major questions we are receiving from majority of the, most of the higher education institutions is that from where they will get the fund for uh, conducting these innovation and entrepreneurship activities. 